Here are the tools we'll be using today. A multimeter to measure DC voltage, 10 millimeter um, wrench, 10 millimeter socket and driver with an extension, 15 millimeter socket and driver with extension, ordinary screwdriver, and a T25 Torx. To open the battery box, pull out at the arrows, and then up and out. For purposes of testing, here's our positive terminal and our negative terminal. Let's see what kind of voltage the battery has. 10.4 volts, that's definitely low. Previously, the car wouldn't start at all. So I charged the battery and it would start, but very slow to crank. The battery is seven years old, and with the low voltage, slow cranking, it's time for a new one. First step is to remove the wipers. Pull off the cap, then a uh, 15 mil socket. A little bit stubborn. There we go. Pop straight up. The wipers are not interchangeable, so make sure you keep drivers and passenger side separate. Don't lose your parts. And now the passenger side, so the cover. 15 mil socket. these away for safekeeping and then straight up with a bit of wiggle. There we go. To remove the battery we do need to remove this cowl uh, for access. Now we have a 10 mil bolt right there on either side of the cowl. And now the passenger side. Now we have to remove six of these metal clips. Now the top of the cowl will come off. There are some things you have to, some connections you have to pop. For the brake reservoir, we will use a T25 driver. Careful not to drop those. To remove the rest of the battery cover, we'll push back a little bit and pull up. And then the whole thing will slide out. We can now remove the battery clamp with two 10 mil bolts. Then we'll remove the terminals of the battery, always starting with positive to make sure that's disconnected, and then moving over to the negative side. The 
battery out, we'll now take it in for load testing. I have the old battery tested at the retailer uh, and the test came back as bad cell replace. So I've purchased a new battery. Now we'll install the new battery, tightening everything up, ending with the positive terminal. Positive terminal should be last. Now we'll put the cowl back in. Uh, note that there are guide holes on a lot of these components for either clips or just dowels to hold things in place. So when you're putting it back together, just watch for that. Let's see if it's going to start. No problem at all. I hope this video helps you. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.